Good morning on Tuesday, September 6, 2022. Who is greater video series that I'm doing? In baseball, Hall of Fame players matched up. Two of them. Who am I doing today? Ty Cobb, Roger Hornsby. Two outstanding Hall of Fame players. Evenly matched up, but who's greater? 20 categories. Let's compare them. Ty Cobb, Rogers, Hornsby. Career average. Ty Cobb, 366, number one. Hornsby, 358, number two. So I'll write this down as far as categories. One nothing Cobb, career average. Run scored. Cobb, 22.45. Hornsby, 15.79. Here's where we need to try to match them up evenly because Cobb played 775 more games than Rogers Hornsby. How many runs per game did Hornsby average? That's what we need to figure out. Hornsby played 2,259 games, and he scored 1,579 runs. It's about three quarters of a run per game. You could say maybe 0 .65, 6, 7, 6, 8 run per game. Take that number, whatever he averaged, Multiply it by 775 more games, so he has the same number of games played as Ty Cobb. You figure out how many runs he may have scored. Following? I did it. I, I multiplied his average per runs scored per game. Came out to 2,120 after I added 775 more games. But he still came up short against Cobb because Cobb had 22.45. Presupposed for Hornsby, 21.20. So Cobb wins the category 2 nothing. Runs batted in. This is interesting here. Cobb had 19.44 his career. Hornsby, 15.84. Add 775 more games. Hornsby would come out more RBIs than Cobb. So I'm going to give that category to Hornsby. 2-1. Home runs, Cobb 117, Hornsby 301. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Hornsby wins that category. Triples, Cobb 297, career. Hornsby 169, give it to Cobb. Doubles, Cobb 724. Hornsby, 541. Even if you add the 775 games, he doesn't catch them. Cobb wins the doubles category. 4-2 Cobb. Singles. Cobb had 3,053 singles. Hornsby, 1,919. Give that to Cobb. 5-2 Cobb. Slugging. No, total bases. Cobb, 5,854. Hornsby, 47-12. Add the games. Figure out how much he's averaging total bases per game. Hornsby would have added, would have ended up with 6,324 total bases if he plays the same number of games as Ty Cobb. Give that category total bases. To Hornsby. 5-3. Slugging. Cobb 512. Hornsby 577. Better slugger. 5-4. Cobb. On base. Close. 433 for Cobb. 434 for Hornsby. 5-5. Base on balls, Cobb 1,249, Hornsby 
Hornsby, 1,038. 6'5", Cobb. Stolen bases, Cobb, 897. Hornsby, 135. 7'5", Cobb. 100 RBI seasons. You know, Cobb had seven, and Hornsby only had five. 8'5", Cobb. 100 run scored seasons. Cobb 11, Hornsby 6, 9, 5, Cobb. Most runs scored in a season, 148 for Cobb, but Hornsby had 156 one year. 9, 6, Cobb. Hornsby wins that category. RBIs in a season. Most for Cobb was 127. Hornsby 152, so he wins there. 9-7, Cobb. Highest average in a season. Cobb, 420. But Hornsby beat him. 424. 9-8, Cobb. Hits in a season. Cobb had 248 one year. But Hornsby had 250. They're both tied now. 9-9 nine, nine in categories after 18 categories. 200 hit seasons. Cobb 9, Hornsby 7. 10 9 Cobb. And then the last one. Total hits. Cobb 4,189. Hornsby 29 30. Add 775 more games to 4 Hornsby. Figure out how many hits per game. Looks like about 1.25 hits per game. He would have ended up with 39.29. Short. 11.9 Cobb. 20 categories. How about that? Hall of Fame players. I'm going to do something here, too. I want to see how who had more strikeouts. Was it Cobb or Hornsby? So let's look at it. Ty Cobb, how many strikeouts did he have in his career? Cobb struck out 680 times in over 11 and over 11,440 at bats. 640 times. No, 680 times. How about Hornsby? A little Rogers Hornsby. How many times did he strike out? 679. A difference of one. Yet, Hornsby had 8,173 at bats. Or times to the plate counted. Not appearances, but official at bats. 8,173. And he struck out 679 times. Cobb, 11,440. Struck out 680 times. One more. But yet, there's a difference of 3,000 at bats. Cobb, a better contact hitter. Now, what's interesting about these two guys, they both batted over 400 three times. Hornsby, 401, 424, and 403. Cobb, 419, we can call that one 420. 409 and 401. Now, as far as 200 hit seasons, Cobb had nine of them, Hornsby seven. Yet in one of the seasons, Hornsby had 250 hits, which was more than Cobb ever did. Cobb had 248. Who's greater, Ty Cobb or Rogers Hornsby? Cobb is greater in average 
Runs scored. Triples, doubles, singles. Walks, stolen bases. 100 RBI seasons. 100 run scored seasons. 200 hit seasons and career hits. Hornsby is better or greater. In runs batted in, home runs, total bases, slugging on base. Most runs in a season, most RBI in a season, highest average in a season, and most hits in a season. Who do you take? Cobb 366 lifetime. Hornsby 358 lifetime. I take Ty Cobb. Why? He didn't strike out as much. I, I, I told you about the strikeouts. So that's a factor. Also, Cobb has more triples, doubles, and singles. Even though Hornsby has more home runs, you want a guy that is getting more base hits. And according to this projection, they both play the same number of games, let's say 3,000 games. Cobb would have beat Hornsby by 200 hits. So they're close in, in, in total career hits, presupposed for Hornsby, if you add the 775 games. But Cobb beats him in hits and lifetime batting average. Hornsby beat Cobb in slugging and on base. I think that's interesting that Hornsby got on base just a tad more than Cobb. Hornsby 434, Cobb 433. Cobb steals more bases. Cobb's more, he has more 200 hit seasons. I'm leaning toward Ty Cobb on this one, even though Hornsby has more home runs, 301. Do you want the guy that's getting more base hits or is slugging better? I take the guy who has the better average and steals more bases, obviously. And they both have three, four hundred batting seasons. They're very close. But Cobb, according to 20 categories, beats Roger Hornsby 11 to 9. So in my matchup and in my estimation, Cobb by the slightest. Not by a large margin, but by a slightest, edges out Rogers Hornsby as the greatest of all time. Thanks for watching here. I'm out.